What's up everybody, welcome to money management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on Neo stock. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack, born a rock star in this life, gone live it up. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the fundamental news and I will show you the real news that might be the catalyst for Neo for upcoming uh, several uh, months. And uh, no one is talking about this uh, catalyst. And uh, guys, it is not the rumors uh, regarding the potential partnership of Mercedes-Benz and NIO. And I will show you what I'm talking about. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here, somewhere at this point, uh, right after we completed five wave structure to the upside. And uh, I've told you right here that we caught the latest movement to the upside and caught this uh, which was point. And uh, I made this uh, prediction uh, and I, it was uh, quite successful because uh, I couldn't uh, count uh, properly five-way structure to uh, this point when I made my video before my previous video. And uh, my main assumption was that we should uh, have one more leg to the upside that should form the bearish divergence as you can see right here and right here. And then we have to have a retracement. This retracement happened and uh, when we had the bounce uh, from the 0.382 Fibonacci retracement level and when we were at this somewhere at this point, I've told you that uh, the most probable outcome is to see the simple zigzag, something like this. And we have to see the potential double bottom pattern or we have to see an extension in the C wave. And uh, I also told you about two crucial points that uh, should uh, show us the next, uh, the direction of the next lag. It is the bottom of uh, this wave at uh, $13.69 and the top of the fifth wave. And I've told you that uh, we can retest them, but we shouldn't break in order to uh, stay in line with my forecast. And as you can see, we have this movement to the upside. We test uh, that retested this range of resistance and uh, we had a perfect bounce to the downside. And uh, for now, we are almost exactly at the same spot uh, when we were previously. And I have to say that uh, on my previous video, on several of my previous video, we caught uh, quite uh, precisely several movements to the upside. From this point, uh, uh, we booked about 27% of potential profit. And uh, from uh, this point, uh, we caught about 21% of potential profit. I completely missed this uh, movement uh, except the latest uh, top and uh, it is what it is. No one uh, has uh, the crystal ball and uh, my win rate on uh, NEO is uh, quite high, more than uh, 60 or even 70 percent and it is more than enough uh, to be consistently profitable if you know how to properly manage your position. So what uh, is the latest news that might drive the price of this asset? Let me show you first of all this one. We are on cnvpost.com and this article was published on August the 8th. And it says, China EV insurance registrations for week ending August the 6th. And the NEO made uh, 4.3 thousand registrations. And uh, they are on the second place uh, again uh, right after the Li Auto and uh, ahead of uh, Depot and Xpeng. And uh, this is a very good achievement, but previously, let me show you that uh, the last uh, week uh, for uh, the last week of uh, July, Neo made uh, 5.4 thousand registrations, and the week before this week, let me show you somewhere here, they made uh, 4.7 thousand registrations. This means uh, we have a decrease in this number of 4.3 thousand uh, compared to the previous two weeks. But in general, it is still very, very good achievement. And in my opinion, by the end of uh, this uh, month, uh, they uh, might increase this number and uh, they should uh, break again the 20,000 vehicles uh, delivers, delivered uh, this month. And uh, if it happens, it will be another quite good catalyst for NEO. But let me show you the catalyst that no one is talking about. Uh, we are again on cnevpost.com and uh, this article was published on August uh, the 3rd. It says, more images of new NEO EC6 circulating online as official launch gets closer. And let me quote to this. Local automotive media outlet uh, Autohome has shared two images uh, of the new EC6 today. 
saying that the model is expected to hit the market at the Chen Chengdu Auto Show later this month. And if you Google Chengdu Motor Show, you can uh, find this information that it will take place on August uh, from August 25th till uh, September the 3rd. And this is potential another deadline for new, but I don't think that uh, it uh, could change a lot. Let me show you more important uh, paragraph of this news. Apart from uh, the EC6, NIO has completed the switchover from the first generation NT1.0 based platform to the latest NT2.0 based platform for all other models. And in my opinion, this is extremely important news because uh, I've uh, told you multiple times that uh, NIO has a uh, quite low gross margin and uh, we uh, saw this uh, number of 1.6 percent on their latest earnings report and nt2.0 platform is much more efficient not only from the customer standpoint but also from the gross margin standpoint and uh, uh, with because of this statement that uh, they completed this switch over for all other models we can assume that uh, the upcoming earnings report should be much more lucrative in terms of a uh, gross margin and the next earnings support because uh, we have uh, to see the consistent growth of uh, this uh, uh, data uh, the next earnings support will should be even more impressive and uh, this means by the end of uh, this uh, year we have a huge catalyst that potentially might drive uh, the price of uh, neo stock much much higher and uh, definitely we also have uh, uh, the rumors regarding the potential partnership of Mercedes-Benz and NIO. Potentially this partnership might be in the uh, sphere of uh, the NIO's swap stations. But uh, no one can uh, prove or disprove uh, this theory right now uh, except uh, this uh, statement. It's false information. A new spokesperson told uh, CMV Post uh, when asked about the recently surfaced rumors of a partnership between the company and Mercedes-Benz. So, we cannot prove or disprove uh, these uh, rumors and uh, I highly suggest you not to rely on this news because we don't know if it is uh, the reality, we don't know the details, how deep uh, this partnership might be. Uh, will uh, one company buy another company and we know that uh, uh, for now uh, Neo's total market cap is about 26 billion dollars uh, but uh, Mercedes-Benz costs uh, more than 76 billion dollars this means uh, theoretically Mercedes-Benz uh, could buy Neo uh, in general and uh, we don't know will it happen or not and that is why we cannot assume that uh, this might be the catalyst the only catalyst medium and long term for now is uh, this one that they completed the switch over from the NT, uh, point, uh, NT1.0 platform to NT2.0 platform and this is very important on top of that because of its uh, recent price action during which from the beginning of uh, this uh, of, of this summer this asset gained uh, about 100 and uh, more than 125 uh, percent we have uh, another company that disclosed uh, its uh, forecast for neos price your share price and it is city group uh, they made their forecast uh, on august before they boosted the price started from 13.9 dollars uh, all the way up to 19.2 dollars which implies an upside potential of roughly 30 percent and i have to say that it is the long-term uh, forecast and uh, we might achieve it but uh, it will not the straight movement uh, it shouldn't be the straight movement to the upside we might see some consolidation phase uh, ahead of us and uh, let's continue with the technical analysis but before we dive deep right here please subscribe to my channel hit notification bell and hit the like button this helps me a lot so guys what should we expect next i have to say that uh, we might uh, have the next leg to the upside from this very point but we also might have uh, the classical abc correction with the double top pattern that implies quite bearish uh, pattern in general but on the other hand uh, we uh, can assume if i do this uh, type of uh, resistance connect these two dogs as you can see at the range of about 16 uh, dollars mark 
uh, and to connect these two bottoms and definitely for now we don't have uh, the pivot point right here it is just my assumption and pure speculation i have to say but if it is the reality we might see the ascending triangle that is uh, by itself is quite bullish bullish uh, pattern and we might see the breakout above the range of this we might have it uh, uh, most likely like this we should retest it for the short time then retest the uh, range of support and uh, we have to see the breakout above for the range of resistance with an increasing volume if it happens we will confirm that uh, this asset uh, has the official breakout and the next price target might hit uh, let me switch to let's say four hours time frame the next price target uh, might hit uh, somewhere here wait a second i have to switch it uh, about uh, 22 point uh, let's say from 22 all the way up to 24 dollars mark this range uh, let me mark it like this this range might be the next uh, uh, from medium to long term price target for new if uh, it breaks uh, this pattern and uh, I think uh, we have to see longer consolidation phase, despite its quite uh, bullish sentiment. And that is why uh, just be cautious with any of your position. So I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna get caught up in this life. I'm crazy, I'm bad. Doing no cap. Only God wants you.